things you need to do, repeat things you need to bear in mind when you know exchanging or having an exchange with you know with probably a company from a different country bringing into Nigeria and all of those things, right? And one of the things we mentioned was that you know we, we listed some contracts that must be registered, you know, as provided on under the NOTAP Act. If you don't know about the NOTAP Act or technology transfer, and you're just joining us, I would advise you go watch that session. That was from last week, so it will make this one more understandable. All right. So one of the registrable contracts under NOTAP Act is the agreement for the right to use patent inventions. And last week I promised that we'll be looking at patents, even though I didn't specify. And hopefully, thank God we're looking at it um, today. All right. So by patents. You know, by technology um, transfer, let's try to link it. You know, you can only talk about technology transfer or technology because someone actually invented something, all right? You know, largely. You know, someone invented something and then probably in your country you feel like, ah, oh, we should, we, I think we need this technology in this country and then the person brings it in and all of that. You know, beyond the old transfer thing, all right, there is something that pushes um, inventors to keep churning out great um, inventions that make our lives better, you know, and that is the role of patent. All right, I think I'm already getting into patent that year. So patent is more or less like it grants a legal right to an inventor to be able to, you know, to enjoy certain rights and privileges, all right, Ex um, exclusive to him, to himself, all right. So all of the rights you can enjoy with respect to what you've created, all right, it is for you. So any other person that comes to use what you're doing is based on your own permission, all right. So, um, and of course, unlike copyrights, copyright is where, you know, some, I, we looked at copyright, I think, last year. And, um, you know, one of the things I think I mentioned, hopefully I mentioned it, was that you don't necessarily need to register before you're protected, all right, even though it's advisable you go ahead and register, all right. But for this one in particular, patent, you need to apply. Right, you need to apply to enjoy the right, you know, to enjoy the rights that comes with it. All right, so the, the level of exclusivity for how long we're looking at that one subsequently, maybe next week. All right, so now it's very important you understand that um, this right protects inventors. So that means you, as a person, you've created something that you think would solve a lot of problems. And of course, you know, in Nigeria, here in the economy uh, in which we find ourselves, there are different issues that need. Um, solution and if you're able to you know you're inspired and you're able to create something that's something ingenious that solves real problems of course you would enjoy the benefits of patents okay so um and we're talking about um application right you apply to the trademarks and patents and in de um, design in the, um, registry so it's from there that all of the processes that you need to go through are done and then you're granted your patent for a term of 20 years but well, we'll talk more about that, you know, as we move on. All right, so let's look at the rationale for patent protection. All right, so like I, I think I already even spoke on the first one because it is normal, it is ordinary that a person that has put in so much ingenuity into creating something enjoy the benefit thereof. All right, and um, the recognition, protection, you know, the person was recognized as the person that created it, you know, and then he must enjoy certain protection and certain exclusivity as as the use of that invention is concerned and by use um, by by use we're saying or should i say use is just one of the means of exploiting your your rights the right that you get once you are protected once you are granted patents and another thing is the manufacturing maybe you want to manufacture it and then you want to sell it further you want to import all of those things it is excluded only you can you know enjoy that thing and any other person that goes on to enjoy it is probably because you gave out your um your permission and then there is one more i believe Let, but let's go on all right so that i won't get ahead of myself um <clears throat> so that's one all right um you, it is normal that you you would enjoy recognition and protection over your right over, over what you've done and of course if there is no don't let me jump so number two is it encourages indigenous inventive activities so this is it like we already discussed um where they see a system that protects um inventors and grants them certain incentives right it encourages people to you know, to create solutions that would solve real life challenges, especially in Nigeria that we and that we found ourselves in. All right. And then of course, when there is a good patent system, all right, it can also um promote tech transfer. All right. So when you have a system that uh, encourages um 
people from other countries to transfer their tech into this country and they will enjoy a certain level of you know um, certain level of um, benefits that is inviting of course it will encourage people to bring in the technology you know and then it will help develop our own ecosystem all right so it encourages inventive activities it also helps um, it also aids tech transfer like we discussed last week all right another is it um, encourages further research and development so now i was going to mention something um now one thing that comes with patent is that you know you, like i said you apply right so in applying you get exclusive um, exploitation that is use manufacture importing and all of those things that you can do with your invention for a period of 20 years and now it's very important that we uh, pay attention to the fact that it's usually a give and take um, thing all right so in exchange for you know what trying to apply anyways uh, you need to submit a description of how you are able to actually um, how you're able to come up with that invention all right so yeah you're supposed to submit a and the essence of this is that is to help further um, research and develop um, research and development r d you know in that invention you created and in the industry where it's you know it operates of course there are other like minds like you brilliant minds that also i think you know we can further this invention we can we can do stuff you know you know further research that would bring about the collective um, collective good of our society here in nigeria and of course all about the world so um now that's why i'm saying this encourages research and development because in submitting the processes another professional can access it not for his own um you know not for his own good but for the sake of promoting research and development all right so let's go into requirement for patentability all right so an invention that qualifies for grant of patent must be one that uh, is the outcome of extraordinary impute it's not something that is just regular that's why they don't just grant you patent on nothing all right there must have been a proof of intellectual efforts a lot of resource um, resources put into coming up with that invention so it's very important we know this all right but that is just like a general way of talking about the requirements so there are there are major requirements that are um, that you need to fulfill in order to be granted patent and one is this it needs to be new it has to be new it must it must um, result from inventive activity we would explain this further as we go on so and it must be capable of industrial use or application so this one like this is one all right that's it must be new results from inventive activity and capable of industrial use or application all right the other one is that it must constitute an improvement on an earlier um, earlier invention and mind you not just some improvements or maybe the product looks like this and then the next one we just added the dots that's not what we're talking about so it must be an improvement that makes the experience even more better that contributes more even better than the earlier um invention that you know is able to contribute better um that's able to help you know contribute positively to our economy to the to um, where we find ourselves which is nigeria currently all right so that is the um that is one thing you must fulfill so let's go deeper into so, these um requirements all right one is newness remember we mentioned newness inventive activity we also mentioned um it must resolve uh, it must result from it must be capable of industrial you know use and application so newness is one all right and the invention must not be no, uh, must not have been known or disclosed to anyone as a general rule in law all right in order to benefit from patent it must not have been disclosed to anybody all right it must be you alone that knows it but then like we said it's a general rule but then the exceptions to it we have one where the invention has been displayed or exhibited in an officially recognized um, international exhibition all right and then within six months of making the application then it will be allowed all right that is one and then two is that where when you made let's say you made a disclosure to someone it was with the promise that maybe you're like telling the person see this is confidential you can't tell anyone about this you know in this kind of a situation all right it will be deemed that it is still new that invention you came up with is still all right it's still very much new all right so that is for newness uh, and let me even say more because there are contentions here and there 
there is more to this issue of newness. All right, so people said that okay, when you disclose outside of the country and you're trying to register inside of the country and all of those things, so those are merely or merely academic, you know, back and forth argument and all of that. But that is not the reason for this um, broadcast for this afternoon. All right, so I hope you were able to understand that. So now another is the inventive activity. All right. So the invention we're talking about here must not be something that's obvious, something that's ordinary. Someone could have just, uh, it's just she just added this to this, and then that's all. No, it has to be something that that blows the mind of a fellow professional in that field. That oh my god, how did you do this? This is amazing. All right. The product has to be something that people will not have even talked about. Not just the product, the process itself. So that when you, of course, like we mentioned, you submit your description. That is how you have to arrive. At the invention, so that when they present it to, of course, after passing through the necessary procedures, when they present it to a person in a similar field, I like the person like, wow, how did you think about adding this? You know, so it's something that is not obvious, something that is, that comes with so much ingenuity, you know, for want of words. So um, that is what inventive activity is all about. But you need to be able to show that, oh my God, this is not some ordinary stuff we just came up with. This is something that. Is brilliant all right it is just so brilliant all right so um well that is that on that another is the capability of industrial application so there are two steps here the first is that um the description you submit uh, must uh, must be that which resulted in that invention all right so like we you know we've been saying it almost every time now I think you should be like the third or fourth time I've been saying it. so the description in submitting in trying to apply for patent you need to submit a description, right? So, by capability of industrial application, we're saying that that description that you submitted that contained the processes must result in that invention you, you are trying to apply for, all right? And beyond that, the invention, right, must be capable of use in line with the, maybe depending on the industry the invention was made for or the industries, you know, that the invention was made for, it must be able to be of good use, you know, in that industry, all right? Well, that is that on that. Let's move on to the second leg, which is the improvement patent. Remember, we mentioned most the new inventive activity capable of industrial use and application on one hand, and then we, we talk about we talked about um, the um, the improvement patent, which must also embody the newness, the inventive activity, and the capability of use and um, capa capability of use generally. All right. So um, for improvement done, that's for improvement patent. Um, it must be one that um, I think I already explained this on the inventive activity, but then it is still worth explaining. You know, when we talk about improvement patents, probably there has been an invention on ground before. All right, and then you feel like ah, this thing can can take it further. All right, we can take it, we can move it further. So it is possible for you to get patent for an improved invention you know so but then that that improvement attitude must be new must be novel must have the uh, must embody inventive activity that ingenuity must have gone into it and must be capable of industrial use and, and application all right so well that is that for that and let's quickly move on to non-patentable inventions all right so not all inventions are patentable all right, it's not everything you create that you can just approach the the um, the trademarks and the patents and the you know industry and the designs you know registry and then you just tell them I created this and please give it patent and all of that. It's not everything. All right, so and it's on this note we'll be we'll be ending it on this note because there is more to patent. All right, so we are going to further it um, further our discussion on this next week. But okay, let's still move on. We have a few. To look at so one is um, plant and animal varieties and biological processes so anything that has to do with messing around with plants um, animals you know genetics all of those cross planting cross breeding and all of those things all right so even though there are, there are contentions on it that uh, but um, it helps to enhance our cross and all of those things but do you know that of course i know we all know this that um this art of encouraging you know when you pretend all of this it encourages all of these things to be more you know some people say they will, uh, 
they will crossbreed zebra and donkey zonkey i don't know if that's the correct thing you know they just mix uh, mix different breeds of animals and create something all of those things do not qualify as far as nigeria is concerned you know to be granted patent for all right so and um, cross breeding cross planting and of course what we've been having is really in the advanced nation cloning we won't grant you patent for that all right and like i said there are arguments you know that but then of course i didn't remember to mention something because especially from the point of view of plants you know animals and the fact that we have to consume some of these things the long-term consequences um these things have on our health on our environment you know we can't um, we can't overemphasize this all right and finally we also have what is contrary to public order or morality all right so any product or processes you know that contradicts the morals of a right standing what's the word a reasonable a reasonably decent member of the society all right would not qualify for patents all right this is where i'm going to pause you know there there is a, a little bit more for want of time um i would we will take this we'll conclude this next week so i want you to take your time to go through some of these things we've um, looked at and see what you can do about it and like i said earlier um we are looking for inventions we we're looking for more inventions all right so and we i in my opinion we have a reasonably you know um okay patent um regime you know that caters for all of these things so as an inventor I need you to know that, you know, if there's something you've seen that you think you can solve, please go ahead and do it, all right? Uh, provided you align with all of these things we've discussed today, you would enjoy all of these benefits, all right? You would enjoy all of these benefits. Like I said, 20 years of exclusivity just to you, all right, after which people can come in and all of that. So I hope, you, um, I hope you've been able to understand all of these things we've discussed today. That I've shared with you, I hope you're able to put them to good use. All right, this is to encourage innovation, invention, um, localized inventions, of course, tech transfer, like we already mentioned. Please try to, um, you know, make do with some of these things. And if you know someone that needs to hear this, please um, share the link and let them come, you know, listen to this. Next, we will conclude this session um, on patents. All right, I hope you have a wonderful day. Thank you for your time and goodbye.